Journal Entry 362 Sometimes you need to give yourself a treat. I seem to need to increase my dosage of the leaves. They do not give me the same pleasure as they used to. My mother is absent in the dreams as well. Only angst is left and guilt. At least Lisa was smiling at me because I recently found another plant. Maybe I can grow some of my own. Since I think no one in Divinity's Reach have the slightest idea what kind of plant that actually is. It would save me a lot of trouble. And I can have my dim-witted servants tending it for me. Sometimes my brilliance surprises even myself. I received letters from Mixie and Strongshield. While Mixie claimed that the chapter was in perfect condition, Strongshield wrote that the chapter is descending into madness. It seems that I left at the right point in time. Anyone could see that it would only be a matter of time before it was destroyed by infighting. Strongshield gave me news about the status of Seiya in the chapter, and it seems that the lying char that Elva seemed to care for had reported her for dead. Mixie gave me at least some names of prominent doctors in Ratosub who can take a look at Seiya. I gave her the letters, insisted she would go there. Although it would not surprise me if she blatantly ignored me. She has always been a woman of strong will. I have managed to get myself some new teeth to replace those I lost during my sparring with Zaya. Pure mithril. It cost me a fat deal, but it was worth it. The shine will never go away, nor will they ever break. The procedure hurt immensely though and it stayed for several days, making my face all swollen and hideous. I did not leave my house during that time. The swelling is almost gone now, so soon I will break with a bottle of decent red wine. It was too long ago since last time. Maybe I will head over to the purple orchid and see if I can get some company as well. I think I have earned that, yes. In other news, I have yet to hear from House Halsterk. He is probably too busy planning his wedding to schedule a meeting, and I got news that the inn in Ebonhawk, where I had planned to meet, had been attacked by separatists. The stupidity of people never ceases to surprise me. If they hate the char, why do they focus on attacking humans inside Ebonhawk? I have to come up with an excuse to Nathaniel that makes it look like the deal was unattractive. I know I will come up with something later. And I need to find some other business I can venture into. I know Nathaniel and Jenna see me as a parasite. And if I manage to secure just one big contract, I know it would wipe the smug smile off their faces. Maybe in Lion's Arch, they sure need to repair all their trade routes. But I never liked that place anyway. I will not dwell upon that now. Soon enough, everything will work out. I can feel that Lissa will soon be smiling upon me, and what could go wrong then?